Hello, welcome to a soul print mini. Do not adjust your screens. This is really how I look. I have a cold. It's been, you know, it's been years actually, I think, since I've had uh, just a cold. But it's not in the crap out of me, I have to tell you. So I have my Woe Is Me Eeyore mug. So pardon me if you see me sort of stopping to sip. Um, I'm going to try to get through this and keep it short. I want to look at, at Rona McDonald um, or McDaniel. Um, so this is the thing. Rona Romney McDaniel. So one of the things that happened when Trump became, you know, the president was that she lost that maiden name. I guess because Trump didn't like her uncle, you know, Mitt Romney. So there she is. She carried on as the head of the RNC. And she just agreed with everything that he wanted and everything that he said and did. And she was she was she was complacent in the whole, you know, fake electorate uh, scheme or the whole, you know, fake election and the results aren't valid. And then what happens? She gets ousted from the RNC by Trump because um, I guess she wasn't whatever, loyal enough, getting enough money, making enough, getting enough, you know, charity contributions. And now she has this gig on NBC um, and she's, you know, scrubbing her, her you know, um, her, her media stuff. It, you know, so all the nasty things that she said about, you know, MSNBC and NBC, you know, they're gone. She's scrubbing those, so she didn't really see them. Um, and I guess her story now is sort of like, well, you know, you have to sit, do what you have to do and say what you have to say when you're part of a team. But now I'm not, and so I can be honest. Well, excuse me? Anyways, I want to take a quick look and see how this whole thing with NBC is going to actually turn out. For any of you who saw Rachel Maddow on Monday night, he was spitting um, mad about the this situation. And, and rightly so. I mean, I think NBC has just really screwed this up. And, you know, they've hired her on as a, like a consultant, Right you know, one of their special contributors. And um, it's hard to see how that's all going to work out because I think she's not ever going to appear on MSNBC. Apparently that has been determined. But, you know, the, the people at NBC, I mean, the hosts, the, the people who put together their shows, they are not going to be anxious to have her come on board because... She just is a liar. That's all there is to it. And she was absolutely complacent in, in you know, allowing Trump to continue the big lie. And frankly, and handing him buckets and buckets of money so that he could continue the big lie. So let's take a look at her, shall we? I wonder if she's going to take back that maiden name of hers now that, you know, she's not Trump's golden girl. Let's check, shall we? Uh, Rona McDaniel trajectory. Rona McDaniel trajectory. Rona McDaniel trajectory. Okay. Starting off with this, the, the four and the six of pentacles. So part of this whole, you know, I mean, that was a big part of her job, what, right, was um, fundraising. That was, and apparently she was incredibly good at it and, and known for that particular strength. But she's now leaving um, you know, under less than auspicious terms, right? I mean, she basically got booted. 
And so where she's at now, the only thing that she actually, the, the, the six is representing the money she handed out and the, and the control that she had over that. The four is now actually her trying to hold on to um, whatever assets she has. And it's, it's more about assets like um, her reputation, her ability to... Um, it's been a good story. And she's going to have a really hard time with that because, frankly, she's not... She's not going to be well received, all right? That's, that's sort of the thing of it. Three of Swords. So... No matter how she tries to maneuver this or manage this, she's not going to end up in a really great, great place. I think that she's not going to reap any significant financial rewards for uh, from MSNBC or um, NBC. I think that they're not. She's not going to get used very much, and I think that at some point NBC is going to have to figure out a way to sort of strategically back away from this agreement, whether they cancel the agreement or they just sort of really minimize her contributions for herself. This was very much a. Um, an attempt to, to re restore her reputation as a regular uh, Republican, not a mega Republican. She just is, all right? And she, there's no way in hell she's going to be able to escape the last eight years um, of her behavior around Trump and her her constant sort of you know, bowing down and kissing the ring. Um, there is a, <laughs> her, her ability to communicate um, the truth is completely destroyed, all right? She does not have any, um, <clears throat> there's nothing convincing about, sorry, my head is really in a fog. Words are just flying around um, and not landing anywhere in my brain. Um, she doesn't have the ability to convince anybody that what she's saying is truth because apparently the truth to her is very fluid. It's sort of based on whatever situation she's in and whatever the people around her want to hear. There's a lot of worry and a lot of anxiety that she, 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 I think she was not expecting the blowback that um, has been received. And honestly, it looks like NBC was also not expecting the kind of blowback that they got from their own people. Um, and let me tell you, the people on um, NBC, like Chuck Todd and Kristen Walker and those they're not pulling any punches either. They are annoyed. They do not want any part of, you know, any kind of truck and trade with this chick because it just makes them look bad. And she can't get, you can't get a straight answer out of her, right? Okay, so as, as we go forward, um, if she's going to end up really sidelined, all right? I, I don't see where she's going to have any kind of success moving forward. She uh, honestly would have been better off trying to negotiate some sort of a deal with Fox or, or something like that, where at least, you know, she was held in some regard. But as far as she is concerned, you can anticipate, could you just like give me the information, please? Yeah. Okay. So you can anticipate her sort of disappearing from the scene. She's not going to have any reliability or any credit with the mega Republicans or the regular Republicans. She sort of is, and right now she's trying to like, you know, walk on both sides of, of the, the street or straddle the fence. And she's not going to be successful at it because she spent 
too long um being so so pro trump and and just supporting every little thing he did and said and so she's not going to be able to, to pull back so what i'm getting is that she is most likely going to kind of disappear from the scene for a while she's not going to be there's not going to be success at nbc um i wouldn't be surprised if her role is minimized to the point where uh, it's non-existent it feels like what she's more likely to do than anything is to kind of back away kind of go underground go quiet and then spend some time trying to reinvent herself and you know she's been playing the game long enough right that she understands frankly that people have very very short memories um and she also understands that sort of you know um the um if your enemy is my enemy then we're friends right she understands that dynamic really well so she recognizes on some level she can return and as long as she um is sort of on the the other side or or a side that is more palatable to wh whoever she's trying to um get in good with um she she will be able to return as of right now i'm seeing retreat but i am seeing a return um probably in a couple of years from now because she understands people have short memories and you know look at how for example liz cheney um, was embraced by Democrats because she did the right thing and, you know, went after Trump. And she she was rejected by Republicans. She got bounced out of her, her, her seat. But she was sort of almost viewed as a hero because she sort of did just the right thing. And Rona McDaniel recognizes that kind of energy. And I would not be the slightest bit surprised if a little ways down the road, you saw her returning, particularly because a little ways down the road, the mega Republicans are going to shrink and shrink and shrink. And a new kind of Republican, God knows what they're going to fashion themselves like, but there's going to be sort of, you know, um, once the the Republican Party is able to shed um, the mega energy, they're going to reinvent themselves. And I would not be surprised at that point if she ends up circling back. But for right now, she's in for a world of hurt. She's not going to be accepted at NBC. She's not going to be accepted across the board. Um, and what she has done is just simply absolutely proven that she will say whatever she needs to say to keep the people around her happy. God, doesn't that sound like Trump? He's another one, right? He'll say whatever he needs to say in the moment so that he can please whoever's in front of him, right? And get their approval. Alrighty, that's what I know. All right. Thank you very, very much for being here. Um, to my new subscribers, welcome. Hopefully I won't be sniffly um, in the next few days. Please send in. I've got you guys sent some really good, great questions in um, on Tuesday's video. So please continue sending in those questions. And hopefully um, I won't be a croaking frog by Friday and I will be able to put out that video um, for pendulum questions. I'm going to try my very best. All right. Take good care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.